In this video, we're going to switch the order of integration uh, for this definite integral. So first, uh, the dx here tells us that we're integrating with respect to x. So x is going from 0 to 64 minus y squared. So now we're going to sketch this region. So x equals 0 is a vertical line. So this is the line x equals 0. And we're going to 64 minus y squared. So how do you graph this? Well, when x is 0, y is 0. And then when, I, I guess like when um, y is 8, you would get uh, 8 squared. So when y is 8, right, x is also 0. And when y is negative 8, x is also 0. Again, so if you plug in 8 for y, uh, you would get 64 minus 64. So x is 0. So when y is 8, the x coordinate is 0, likewise for negative 8. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. And what is this point here? Uh, we could probably uh, solve, solve for that as well. Um, to solve for this, this is the y x-axis, and this is the x-axis. So this is the point when y is 0. So when y is 0, uh, we get x equals 64. So that's 64. Okay, so we've managed to draw that, and then we're going from negative 8 to 8. So everything makes sense. So as it is here, the region of integration for this definite integral, uh, we would first integrate with respect to x. So we have a horizontal rectangle because x is a function of y. So we would go from 0 to 64 minus y squared. Boom, there it is. Then we would integrate with respect to y from negative 8 to 8. Again, as the problem is now, we first integrate with respect to x. So we go from x equals 0 to x equals 64 minus y squared. So we're integrating with respect to x, right? So we have a horizontal rectangle because x is a function of y. That's an easy trick. If you have functions of y, you have horizontal rectangles. If you have functions of x, you have vertical rectangles. So you see an x, but x is a function of y, so you have a horizontal rectangle. And then we integrate with respect to y from negative 8 to 8. Okay, we want to switch the order of integration, right? So uh, we want to integrate this as follows. We want dy to come first and then dx, right? So first we want to integrate with respect to y. So when we're integrating with respect to y, we're thinking of y as a function of x. So we need vertical rectangles. So you have to go from here to here. So now we have to solve this for y. So to do that, I'll write it over here. Uh, I'll add the y squared. Okay, so plus y squared plus y squared, subtract the x. Now you solve for y, so you end up with y equals plus or minus, right? Taking the square root, you always get a plus or minus. So solving for y, we end up with y equals plus or minus the square root of 64 uh, minus x. Hopefully I did that right, let's check. We add y squared, subtract x, take the square root, you get a plus or minus. Okay, so the bottom one here, this one will be negative 64 minus x, that square root there. And this one up here is going to be uh, positive 64 minus x. All right, so let's do this. So first, we're integrating with respect to y. So we're going from here to here. So boom, and then boom. Uh, the outer limits of integration are always constants, right? And the inner, and the inner ones are always variable terms, something to, to keep in mind. Notice they're variable terms, constants. Variable terms, constants. And uh, then we just go with respect to x from 0 to 64. So both of these definite integrals uh, give the same uh, area. So to recap, in this case here, we're integrating with respect to x first. So x is a function of y. So in this case here, we had a horizontal rectangle, and we went from 0 uh, to this guy, right, 0 to here, and then negative 8 to 8. That's with respect to y. So first with respect to x, then with respect to y. First with respect to x, then with respect to y. This one here is first with respect to y. So first with respect to y, from here to here, from here to here, from here to here with respect to y. So first with respect to y, then with respect to x. So I hope that made sense. Uh, this is one of those topics that's uh, kind of hard for people, but <laughs> that's it.